It is Saturday, October 26th, and this is Jeff Davenport Live, brought to you by SSVEC, Sulphur Springs Valley Electric Cooperative, serving our community. At one point in time, mental health and suicide awareness was something that was kind of shoved under the rug. It was something that we didn't talk about, but thank goodness today we can talk about it because it does save lives and brings hope to those family members and people who've been affected by suicide. And there is an amazing out of the darkness walk going on right now as we are live. It is quarter to 10 at the walk starts at 10 a.m. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, good morning. My name is Ashley and I'm the Sierra Vista walk chair for the out of the darkness walk happening right here in Sierra Vista. Ashley, thank you so much for talking to us today. You just got done on the stage, giving some introductions, some opening ceremonies are gonna be taking place here very shortly. Yes. What, what can people expect today to be a part of a walk like this? You've got vendors here, you've got uh, resources here as well but what else what else can people find so today people can find community mm. you can find camaraderie amongst your fellow uh, community here we all wear these different beads and they represent something different so for me I wear orange beads because I lost my brother and he was my only sibling and he was also in the military so I wear silver beads as well so this is a really amazing part of our program that we have here you can kind of look around and see other people who have experienced something similar to you and you can have a conversations without ever speaking a word Ashley, one thing that, that I love is that seeing the Out of the Darkness Facebook page, which you can find in the post description and you can follow that Facebook page, we'd recommend you do that, is it shows the different colors that people wear. It represents someone someone that they lost yes. to suicide, right? Yes, it's amazing. We have an um, entire color palette. Yeah, an entire color palette. Yeah. yeah. So like I said, you can look out at the crowd and you can see somebody who has a similar loss to you or something new and you can go have a conversation with them. Yeah, and being able to walk around, just take a look around real quick and see what's here at Veterans Memorial Park starting at 10 a.m. So again, this is kind of short notice, but I mean, it's something that we want to make the community aware of that even if you're not able to make it today, this is a community that you can connect with via social media. And if you want to stop by, how long will this be going on today? So this will be going on until about noon today. The walk will kick off and then the resource fair, fair will hang around for a little bit longer after that. Excellent. So even if you miss the walk or miss the start of this and you're looking at your watch going, oh my gosh, I want to come by and I want to see some of these people. I want to meet them. I want to talk to them. I want to get some resources myself you can do that until around noon today yeah absolutely and if you can't make it to, to the event today you can always reach out afsp.org slash crvista that has my information on it or afsp.org has amazing information all over the place and it's the american foundation for suicide prevention correct A yes fsp yes and and again you see it right oh there it is right there yes. uh in front of me almost like i was cheating but i wasn't i promise <laughs> I, I, I tried to remember that but this is this is something so important and and again it's Thank goodness we live in a day and age where we can actually talk about it. And, yeah, we still we have a long way to go, but having events like these is only helping break down the stigma even faster. Yeah, and it, like you said with uh, your your brother who was yes. in the military, obviously the 22 a day is yes. something that the military struggles with. And around here in a highly populated military community, have you seen that that occurrence or, or see, seen the, the people who are dealing with, with those issues? Yeah, so it affects everybody through all walks of life. It doesn't matter uh, what race you are, how much money you make, what your career path is. It can affect you at any in any way at all. And so we just want to provide the community. We have a huge veteran community. And of course, they're affected at a greater rate than the general population is. But we also have first responders that suffer. We have, I mean, uh, healthcare professionals and just, you know, your average citizen. Uh, depression and suicide can affect anyone. It really can. And this is why it's so important to come out of the darkness. And you have a community waiting for you. If you're someone who is struggling right now, or if you know someone who is struggling right now, there is hope. There is help. Thanks to the AFSP and thanks to Ashley and this entire community. Again, they're waiting for you to stop by today until noon. It's Saturday, October 26th, as we are going out live right now, just before 10 a.m. The walk will start at 10, but the resource fair will continue until noon. Ashley, thanks so much for letting us stop by and see you today. And, and, and again, if anyone is going through something like that or struggling today, right now, maybe as they're watching this video live or later on today, where would you recommend they, they go to? Absolutely. So we have um, an amazing resource. It's a three digit number now. It is 988. You can call, text or chat 24 seven, 365 and the police don't come out until it, unless it's absolutely necessary. So if you just need somebody to talk to, they are there and available. It's an amazing resource, 988 for more information or just stop by today. Meet this amazing community that is here for support, here for help, here to make sure that lives are saved and hope is given to those who need it most. Thank you again, Ashley. Thank you. And uh, we wish you guys the best of luck today. Have a great walk. 
and remembering those who we've lost to suicide. And we don't want to have that happen to anybody else. So 988 or stop by today, get connected with with uh, Ashley and with the entire community here, the Out of the Darkness Walk, all the information is in the post description. Please follow and make sure that you or someone you know who's struggling with that, that struggle can find hope. That struggle can find peace. And that struggle can find a life saved today. Thanks for sharing this video around, everybody. Thank you again, Ashley. And thank you for watching Jeff Davenport Live, brought to you by SSPEC, Sulphur Springs Valley Electric Cooperative, serving our community. Have a great day, everybody. Come on out to Veterans Memorial Park until noon. The walk starts in about 10 minutes as we are going out live right now, but the vendor resource fair will continue until the noon hour for you to stop by and make sure that you or your loved ones get the help you need. Talk to you soon.